10 degrees. Okay, this is after recharge, 99%. And I got a new battery card just this morning. 746, which is right now. 0.1 ampere hour down again. That was within 450 kilometers. Down, 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 down. So far we are very close to 80%. Okay, so this morning, Monday morning, I need to go to the mailbox to send off this letter which is not far away from here, but it is a little bit of a detour, so probably three kilometers. Ah, oh, I missed that. So, a little bit of detour. And I cannot recharge the car at work, so I need to be very careful um, how I drive. We've got 39 kilometers on the gasometer, which is pretty good. I must say, um, 39 kilometers on the gasometer at 80.3% state of health. That is not a bad figure. And I know people have said this in the forum before, they cannot actually feel a huge loss of EV kilometers when the battery goes down. See, 39 kilometers at 80%, that is pretty much that is pretty much the almost the same as I had before when I had around 90% state of charge. The 10% loss in capacity is not 10% less in EV range. Okay, so this was the first 1.5 kilometers and we are down to 39. So nothing has changed, but from now on it will go uphill to the mailbox. Wow, electric vehicle! Okay, it's just a golf cart, but it's a start. We have to factor in, it is winter here now, and the battery, what is the battery temperature actually? 12 and 13 degrees at the moment. So the battery is super cold, <laughs> what, what I would say is super cold. And it's not performing that well as it usually should or as it, as it should. And we have to factor all this stuff in to our um, as, um, assumption of EV range, for our calculated EV range. And if you put the figures together, it's not too bad. 39 kilometers gasometer is not too bad for winter time and an 80% battery. No region, no regeneration happening. And the gasometer is down three kilometers. And we have driven three kilometers. We've got some strong headwind this morning and the consumption goes up to 23 kilowatt. That's the power currently I'm using on the flat here. The wind is insane cold. The overpass and we have used 8.7 ampere hours. Usually we have only six we have used 28.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers due to this um, headwind. So we have arrived at work at, oh, can you see through the dust here? 15 kilometers on the gasometer, 59% um, state of charge. And the battery gauge shows below half, precisely 42%. So. <laughs> Um, we have used an insane 13.1 ampere hours, but that was for a longer trip now, it was 17.3 kilometers. And the fact I'm losing another 2-3 kilometers, at least 2 kilometers I would say, 
um, will bring me down to 13 kilometers and there's no way to make it home with 13 kilometers. Well, what a shame. What a shame I lost seven and a half ampere hours, 7.7 .7 ampere hours of capacity in the software and I can't use it anymore. Ha ah, guys, so um, the club is actually open on a Monday, very unusual. i um, just spoken to Leon over there and they have a meeting this afternoon, so they're preparing everything. And um, yep, the club is open from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And I will plug in this afternoon then. I'll just have lunch now and plug in later. Lucky me, lucky me. Okay, so there will be no challenge this afternoon to actually drive home with 12 kilometers left. It would be a challenge. I potentially could make it if I drive very slowly. But I mean, this opportunity is there. Why not plugging in and charge the car to 100% or whatever it gives me and then drive home without any fear of using petrol. Because the, you know, the um, fuel anxiety is real. Okay, plugging in. Just want to quickly show you. So we are down to 13 kilometers and 54.8, 55% state of charge. If I drive very, very, very super, super extreme carefully, yes, but who cares? I'll just um, charge and um, drive home just like a boss. <laughs> okay, let's plug in. <laughs> See you later this afternoon. Thank you very much. My little padlock. So it's only it's only for so nobody can steal the EVSE. I have to take the whole extension leads lead with them, um, which is plugged in inside. So there's no way to steal anything. I just don't. Two point two kilowatts. That's all right. So the time won't be enough to fully charge the car. Um, it will be, uh, I would say, around ninety percent, ninety percent state of charge. We've got um, two and a half hours only, so around ninety ninety percent, I would guess. Hey guys. Guess what? We are fully charged <laughs> in only two and a half hours. Um, yeah, I was able to fully charge. Okay, I wasn't expecting that really. There was there was only limited time to to charge, and it has done it. It could um, it could potentially mean the battery capacity is so far down it doesn't take long to charge. <laughs> Who knows? Charge complete. Unbelievable. 100%. 100% is 30.5 amp hours. That's all what is left in the battery. Guys, we are very close to 80%. I've got so much energy in here. Let's see if the heater comes on. Yeah, it does. We've got 19 degrees outside. And I've set this one to 24. The heating comes on. Right, and already 0 0.1 ampere hour gone. All right, so I'm driving with a consumption of or with a power of four to five kilowatts at the moment, and that's exactly the same amount of energy I'm using for heating. So this is full power heating, four and a half kilowatts, and we've got the same while driving, and we are driving around. 40, 45, 48 kilometers. So maximum heating is the same amount of energy as if you drive 45 kilometers per hour, which is um, this amount in miles per hour. It's insane. 
I would rather drive than heat. Uh, clean uh, right. cabs, but uh, get out of my supercharger network. Or Uber drivers. I mean, this. All right, that was. Yeah, I, I obviously made it home with um, half the battery. The actual. The actual Bluetooth adapter failed about three times, so I haven't got any stats for you. Uh, missing, missing kilometers, missing ampere hours, everything missing. So 64.6, so roughly the same amount of energy used as if I travel to work. Who is surprised? Okay, this is, uh, I don't know, that's, that's a very boring video today. There was nothing happening apart from the unexpected charging possibility at work so i probably just can this whole video and forget about it maybe it's more interesting tomorrow because tomorrow i've got a customer appointment and um, i will obviously recharge again to 100 percent 95 98 percent whatever it might be and then we go for a little drive after work into the sunset now it's actually away from the sunset, it's the other direction. And we have to stretch the battery a little bit, but it should be fine. It's just probably another 10, 12 kilometers or so max. So it should be totally fine um, if we can fully charge tomorrow. Right. <coughs> okay, don't, don't worry about these videos. Don't, it's just, if you, if you stayed that long, wow, good on you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one, bye.